Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. And in this video, we're going to take a look at modal borrowing. The two scales we're going to look at are the major C Ionian scale and the natural minor Aeolian scale, starting on C as well. And what we'll do initially is we'll borrow from the natural minor scale while playing a melody in the major scale. And then we'll reverse the process in the next section. So in the major scale, the chords are C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and C. And if you'll notice, we use the lowercase d, e, a, and b for the minor chords and the capital C, F, and G for the major chords and also the Roman numerals lowercase for the minor chords and uppercase Roman numerals for the major chords. So in the minor scale, the Aeolian minor, which has three flats, E flat, A flat, B flat, and C, form these chords if you take the notes from the scale. So the first chord is minor C, then diminished D, E flat major, F minor, G minor, A flat major, B flat major, C minor. So if you look at these two chord progressions, we have a 1-4-1 one, one in the major scale, which would sound like... So that would be 1-4-1. One, one. Now, if we borrow the minor 4 chord from the Aeolian scale, we get... So quite a different sound. So in the next example, we have a, a one, three, six, seven diminished in the major scale. So if we do a melody, And then if we substitute the 6 and the 7 chords in the major scale for the 6 and 7 in the parallel minor, we get... So quite a different sound. So again, the first one going back to one versus Now we'll take a look at going from the minor Aeolian scale and, and borrowing chords from the Ionian scale. So here's a melody in the Aeolian, and we'll do the 1-4-1 uh, one, one progression. So that's in the minor scale. And then if we borrow from the major scale, the four chord, we get this sound. So again,
again. And then in the borrowing the four chord. And then in the second chord sequence, we have in the minor scale a 1, 2 diminished, um, flat 3 major, and then a 4 chord minor. And if we then substitute the 4 chord for a major, we get this sound. So initially we play it in the minor mode. sequence with the borrowed chord. So it gives you a sort of a lift when you go from the, when you change the four chord in the minor to the four chord in the major mode. And let's take a look as our, at our last example. Here we have in the minor the the one, the flat six, the flat seven, relative to the C major scale. And that would sound like this. And then if we play that, substituting the, the flat seven by the borrowed chord from the major scale, the seven diminished, we get this sound. So going to the first one in the minor scale. So then doing the substitution. So it, so by substituting the, the seven chord in the minor scale by the seven chord in the major scale, we get a bit of a lift. So, and you can experiment with other chord substitutions. These are the great two scales to start with, and then you can branch out into the other different scales we have. For example, you could write out the Dorian scale and compare the Ionian and the Dorian, do substitutions there, or the Ionian and the Phrygian, Ionian and Lydian, Ionian and Mixolydian. We already did the Ionian and the Aeolian. And you could even do the Ionian and the Locrian, or Locrian, and get some interesting, interesting results. So instead of just going with the normal chord, say in the C major scale or the C minor scale, try experimenting with the different chord substitutions from the other modes. And that's the methodology that you can use. Good idea to write out the music as well, so you can visually see as well as orally hear the differences. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music. Mm -hmm.